Lesson 1, using exponents to show repeated multiplication. Here it says, use an exponent as a shortcut for writing repeated multiplication. For example, instead of writing 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, this can be written as 2 to the 4th power. Since this is repeated multiplication, here's 2 to the 1st power, 2 to the 2nd power, 2 to the 3rd power, 2 to the 4th power. Take a look to the right. Notice that we have 2 to the 4th power written down. The 2 is the base, and the base tells you what is being multiplied by itself. The 4 is the exponent, and it tells you how many times the base is being multiplied by itself. Take a look at part 1. Here it says, expand first, then evaluate. Let's do box B together. Here's 2 to the 5th power, and it means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Here's 2 to the 1st power, 2 to the 2nd power, 2 to the 3rd power, 2 to the 4th power, 2 to the 5th power. Here's 2 to the 5th power. Now let's evaluate that expression. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 again gives you 8, times 2 again gives you 16, times 2 again gives you 32. So 2 to the 5th power equals 32. Let's try box G. Here's 3 to the 4th power, and this means 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Now I'll use parentheses to make this easier to multiply. 3 times 3 equals 9. Here we have 3 times 3, that equals 9 as well. So 9 times 9 equals 81. Now look at boxes i, j, and k, and I've already done some of the work. 10 to the second power means 10 times 10. 10 to the third power means 10 times 10 times 10. And 10 to the sixth power means 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. Now let's evaluate. Here, 10 times 10 equals 100. Next, we have 10 times 10, that gives you 100, times 10 again, and that gives you 1,000. So 10 times 10 gave you 100, times 10 again gave you 1,000. Now let's look for a pattern to help us with box k. Take a look at 10 to the second power. Notice that we have two zeros here, and in our final answer, we have a one followed by two zeros. Here we have 10 to the third power. Notice that we have three zeros here, and our final answer has a one followed by three zeros. Now use that pattern in box k. Here's 10 to the sixth power. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zeros. So our final answer will have a 1 followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zeros. So our answer here is 1 million. Take a look at part 2. We're going to expand to show repeated multiplication. And this is just like part 1, except we're using variables as bases instead of numbers. So m to the third power means m times m times m. m to the first power, m to the second power, m to the third power. Here's part three. We're going to simplify using exponents. So this is the reverse of part one and part two. Let's try box O together. Here we have 12 times 12 times 12 times 12 times 12. And since this is repeated multiplication, we can write it as 12 to the 5th power. Now look at box Q. Here we have x times x times x times x times y times y times y times y times y times z times z. And we can simplify this by writing x to the 4th power, y to the 5th power, z to the second power. 
Now for box S. Here's x plus 1 times x plus 1 times x plus 1 times x plus 1. So we have x plus 1 to the first, second, third, fourth power. Here's x plus 1 to the fourth power. Finally, box T. Here we have 7 times x minus 3 times x minus 3 times x minus 3 times m plus 5. And we can simplify this by writing 7 times x minus 3 to the third power times m plus 5.